on the road this Saturday, heading for Birmingham this time, looking to shake the monkey off our back and get that first win away from home. The boys, though, were here today for their official team photograph, and to be fair to them, they can scrub up pretty well, so look up for that later in the show. First, though, it's over to the manager. Certainly you've got to be ruthless in both boxes, you've got to be able to score goals, which we've not done recently on the road, and also you've got to be able to stop goals, um, and we're doing neither of those things um, particularly well. Um, we have to understand that it's just a change of location, it's not a change of game plan or structure, albeit I had to change it at half time on Tuesday evening in, in an effort to get a reaction and a response, which we did to a certain extent in the second period, but still didn't get the result we needed. Would a change in formation for away games be a tactical factor the gaffer might be looking to explore? I'll be, yeah, I'll be looking to explore a few things, obviously starting, starting today. Um, what, what we have to keep in context is the fact that our own form has been excellent. I think as a football club we've won the last four games and our record at home is, is, is in the top three in the championship, but away from home it's, it, it'd probably be um, in the bottom three or four. So. It is something that's gone on for a long time and it's something we need to address immediately and um, obviously um, if that means surgery to the team or, or changing the shape um, then we will do that in an effort to get the right result. Russell continued to look ahead of Saturday's fixture at St Andrews. But there's a lot of work to be done between now and, and, and kick-off and um, we'll be working on that because uh, Birmingham are a different kettle of fish to what they were maybe um, 10 days ago because again they've had a change of manager so we know it's going to be tough they just beaten Watford who are top of the league as well so um, but that is this league as well it's all about your attitude I think as well attitude comes before performance and that's what we'll be looking making sure that our attitude's right our focus is right and and um, trying to give the team a game plan but at the end of the day when they cross that line um, they've got to play with a big heart and a big commitment for the football club and ensure that we get a positive result. And how about the support of the fans, the travelling fans, they're always vocal. No doubt they'll be exactly that on Saturday again as well. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it, it's a big thing to have your, your support away from home, as, as we did again on, on Tuesday, but um, you, you, want to, you want to be able to send your supporters home with a big smile on the face, and that's clearly not happened for a long, long time. But. Um, it's a good fixture for us, it's a good opportunity, that's how we have to look at it, it's a challenge, it's a challenge that we need to embrace, it's a challenge that we need to take on and, 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 uh, and revel in really and, and ensure we get a positive result. The Academy boys took a 2-1 victory over Crystal Palace last week at Leckwith. And they were again in action on Sunday in the FAW Youth Cup against Cambrian and Cladac. A 4-1 win sees them through to the third round now in which they're drawn against Carmarthen Town. The development side travelled up to face Chelsea in a friendly last week and returned with a 2-1 victory. The women's team suffered a defeat to top of the table Cardiff Met on Sunday and they now face Cumbran Celtic Ladies this weekend. Cardiff City Foundation were out in China recently to deliver the Premier Skill Level 1 coaching course in partnership with the British Council. During the seven-day course, we worked with 40 coaches from the Chinese Football Association and through networking and many discussions, we're now looking to further develop Cardiff City's links with China. And comedian John Bishop stopped by the House of Sport on Wednesday for a quick kick about whilst in Cardiff ahead of his gig at the Motorpoint Arena. And he's back on his Supersonic UK tour next Wednesday and other dates throughout November and December. For more information about dates and tickets, visit johnbishoponline.com. Are you interested in playing basketball? Well, sessions are starting on Tuesday evenings at Cardiff City House of Sport from 5.30 till 7pm and are open to both girls and boys aged 14 to 16. Follow us on Twitter at Cardiff City FITC for more information. On the 24th of October, as part of the two-week campaign, Show Races and the Red Cards hosted their third Sporting Legends match against the FAW. And amongst the Sporting Legends were Damon Searle, Lee Jarman, Roger Gibbons, Christian Roberts, 
Chris Ingram, Tom Ramatut and Andy Legg, all of course former Bluebirds. So here's Aaron Gunnison padding up ready to play against John Brayford in today's game, Fuck It. Chin strap it a bit. Fuck It is a casual cross between football and cricket, which makes it okay to call it Fuck It. So we flipped a coin to see who'll be batting first. Gunners, heads or tails? Tails. It's heads. So John, do you want to bat or are you saving first? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll bat first. He'll bat first. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Six shots each then to score past the other who was in goals. Upon second thoughts, Gunners went back for some extra protection. So John was up first for his first shot, straight at me. Well, he couldn't do that again if he tried, so it doesn't matter. Second shot was more successful. Oh, why now? Gunner with the save, making it one from three. Two now. And then getting himself caught up in the net. <laughs> Try not to. <laughs> so that's a 50% success rate for Brayford, scoring three from six. Right, then, so Aaron, you've got three to beat. Do you think you can do it? Don't know. Yeah. Um, What's that? <laughs> he is wearing a suit. He's limited. Limited yeah. movement. Restricted I movement. Think as long as I hit the target. And not me. Yeah, not you, yeah. Right, exactly. let's have a go. Oof. A good save on the first by John. Then Gunnar scores from his second attempt. One. And then makes it two from three. <laughs> the fourth, he pulls wide. And of course, I got hit again. That's not a goal. We discussed this. Minus points for hitting me. Oof. Gunner smashes his final shot in to tie the score at three all. So, three shots each in sudden death. Gunner up first. <laughs> One. Two. And it was two from three for Aaron. Can John do any better? That's one, and Gunner's caught in the net yet again. <laughs> one nil. <laughs> A great save here from the Iceman. <laughs> and it's crunch time on the decider, lose or draw for John Brayford. And a fine stretch from Gunners to deny the equaliser, and he's taken home the Phuket title. Better late than never, the squad had their official team photo this week, and local singer Chloe Cook stopped by the stadium to give us a special rendition of Welsh football anthem You're Just Too Good to Be True. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you You'll be like heaven to touch I wanna hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you To warm the lonely nights I love you, baby Trust in me when I say Oh, pretty baby Don't leave me down, I pray Oh, pretty baby Now that I've found you, stay And let me love you, baby Let me love you You're just too good to be true 
glancing my eyes off you You'll be like heaven to touch And I wanna hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off you I love you, baby And if it's quite alright I need you, baby To warm the lonely nights I love you, baby Trust in me when I say 